Okay, hey everyone, this is Martin from howtomakemobilegames.com on January the 3rd, 2016. I think it's a Monday, and I'm in Macau uh, in South China uh, in one of the casinos here, uh, the Galaxy Casino. Sorry, let me get focused. I thought I'd do a quick walk around video. Hopefully, my battery will last, and you can see this video because it's almost about to run out. Uh, this is a personal video, nothing really to do with game development, uh, but I wanted to say hello quickly because it's been about a week since I did my last video, and a few of you have asked me to do another walk around video. So, um, hey, Vic, could you just hold that a minute, please? Just walk with that a second. It's, it's very light. Yeah, there's Mickey, by the way, she just did a bungee jump. And there's me. Hello, everybody. Say hello, baby. Hello. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Macau. This is the main casino over here uh, in there. I can't film in there, unfortunately, but it is awesome. I've got to totally recommend this place. It's basically like the Las Vegas of China. Um, a few huge casinos are here, like this is the Galaxy one where we stayed last night. I'm in China for just two weeks visiting my wife and, you know, my puppy. Um, so we wanted to take a trip here and uh, just enjoy the sunshine, the hot weather, uh, walk around the casino. We're only in this one casino at the moment, which is uh, the Galaxy one, as I said. And um, uh, the hotel is like upstairs, which is part of the building. And it's massive, this place is massive. Uh, this, I, I should have shown you actually, I should have maybe walked around the other side, but this in here, this casino, uh, goes all the way down there, like all the way down there and all the way back up there. And it looks like it's a kilometer in length, honestly, it's that big. Full of Baccarat uh, slots, progressive slots games, you can see some, maybe you can see just there, progressive slots, loads of these machines. Uh, Baccarat, poker, uh, 21 or blackjack, craps as well I, a lot of them I don't know how to play and a lot of them I don't even know uh, there's a bunch of high limits in there as well like this sign says I think where is it ah, there we go it's really small but that says high limits there uh, there's specific areas VIP areas where you get the high rollers as well uh, we were watching some poker games last night which was awesome um, so let's walk around this way uh, we and my wife played a bit of uh, three hand poker or three card poker whatever it's called and that was that was a lot of fun we didn't really know how to play it but it was fun to play and um, uh, it was, seemed like more of a random chance game though but i really enjoy texas holden poker i've played that a number of times over the years, but nothing serious, just with friends and a little bit online, of course. And uh, I enjoy that one because you play against the people and it's less less a game of luck, even though, you know, if you get good cards, it's going to be a benefit, of course. But in the three card poker, it did just seem like pure random luck. And if you got good cards, that was it. Even though, of course, there is some skill in there, you reject the cards if they're bad, but uh, I prefer Texas poker. Uh, apart from the casino and the hotel, and there's, there's a bunch of shops around here, and it just is, it looks gorgeous, honestly. Uh, not the cheapest place in the world, but you can get by pretty cheap here anyway, you know. Uh, uh, we, we got like a buffet for two people for, uh, I think it was 300 Macau dollars, which is around, I think 260 RMB, which is around 26 pounds. So 26 pounds for two people, that's because we stayed in the hotel for one night. Um, but it was, you know, uh, that was kind of a discount as well. Uh, but there's other cheaper places as well. There's also the town here as well, the Macau town or city, whatever it may be called. Uh, it's not super large. But there's plenty of places there which are cheaper as well. Generally, the casinos, uh, because they are all sort of high-end, five-star places, uh, will be more expensive to stay or to have, you know, if you wanted to go to a restaurant. Uh, that's where we went before, that festival, which had the buffet, which was, which was pretty nice. Um, but it is pretty swanky in here. It's pretty nice. Uh, I mean, you can just tell by the... You know by the look of the place it's really well done as well i mean personally i don't think it looks like cheesy or tacky or anything it just looks high-end and it feels real nice to be in it sorry uh maybe it's back that way i don't know maybe take a look uh so yeah it's real nice i mean you can just spend days walking around here we're only in here for a day we did come here a couple of years ago which was i think maybe we stayed for two or three days for my birthday a few years ago 
but you can just wander around this place and hang out here for three days. There's Wi-Fi everywhere as well, at least in this casino, and I'm sure there's Wi-Fi in the other casinos as well. Uh, massive malls, uh, and you, the, the casino part as well is awesome. You can just wander around and watch people play if you like that. Um, I enjoyed watching the poker last night, which was good fun. Uh, Mickey's just going in there to get some uh, get some medicine for her grandma, I think. So, you know, I mean, look at that. You can see all the way down there, if you can see that on the camera, it's just huge. Uh, the casino just keeps on going. And like I say, this is, this is one casino here, but there's, there's a bunch of them together. The MGM, that's, and I think the, I can't remember what the other ones are called. Uh, I only know MGM and Galaxy, but there's a bunch of others real nice. Um, uh, really easy to get in here as well. We, uh, we, can, uh, we just crossed over the border in China, Zhuhai, into this place. I didn't need any kind of special visa, being from the UK, they just stamped my passport and I came in. And we're going back later today and we're going to be stamping uh, on the way out as well, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, the queue wasn't too bad. I mean, it took, I think we were in there for about 30 minutes all in all, like queuing up and traveling to, um, uh, sorry, queuing up and just, you know, doing the bag check and things, but it wasn't a full on airport bag check. You just put your bag through a, an x-ray machine and that's it. You don't have to like take your boots off and be, you know, uh, like handed, well, ha not handed down, what am I thinking, like patted down by somebody or anything like that, so. Um, but yeah, this place is awesome, I highly recommend it. Check it out, if you just wanted a trip, you don't have to stay in the fancy hotel if you don't want to, you can just walk around the casino and grab a coffee and, and that's it all day long, really nice, so. Um, but anyway guys, I just wanted to say, video, more videos coming soon, uh, obviously gotta do the December revenue summary soon as well. Uh, maybe in the next few days, uh, talking about 2016 as well and doing sort of some kind of retrospective on that. Uh, and also the new game that I've released soon as well, the puzzle game which is being called IQ Me. Uh, it's going to be out soon as well. Uh, going to be releasing this hopefully in the next one or two days. Getting the uh, getting that sold at one dollar. One yeah, one dollar. And we'll see if that works or not. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, video, uh, more videos coming soon, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, yeah catch up with you soon. Happy developing. Bye bye.